Hello everyone. This video will teach us how to stream on YouTube. Well, we all know that we can share the footage of the camera on like our phones or tablets with others, but we can also upload the stream live and to YouTube for other people around the world to watch them. Well, in order to do that, we have to make sure that our internet connection is perfect and we have a functioning bird box camera connected. Once this is all done, there are two common ways to upload the stream. This video will not be very detailed steps, but it will at least tell you what you need to do first to get the stream going. Okay, first, our first way is by using a PC computer and an OBS software. Our IP cameras deliver an RTSP stream to us, although that uh, YouTube does not accept this kind of format, YouTube only accepts RTMP streams. So in this condition, we have to use the OBS software to do the transcoding. So how does this transcoding happen? First, we have to go to our green backyard page to retrieve uh, common RTSP. It will be a URL in this format. So then the red place will be a place for us to replace the IP address here. This has to be our IP address that this camera is connected to. And the password is for if you have a password that protects your camera, then you have to enter the password right after the equal. So after that, this URL is our RTSP stream. Then we just simply copy it and we go to VLC, a software, to check and verify if this is workable. So to see if the stream is workable, we open media here and then to net choose network and then we just paste the URL here and then there should be the stream URL here and we just click on it again and we can see the live stream. So this means our URL, our RTSP stream is functional and after that we just simply paste this to our OBS. The next thing we need is to make sure we have a YouTube account. The YouTube account will provide us a YouTube stream key and after that you just use the YouTube stream key to give OBS a direction to push the stream to. And once that is done, your first method of streaming on YouTube will be complete. Our second method is using a NAS device. A NAS device is also called a network attached storage. So it's a very big art artistic storage for us to access. There's a lot of features in it. And also the OBS transcoding feature will be integrated in it as well. So it's very simple. So once we have a NAS station and then we kind of integrated it and added our IP camera, our bird box camera to it. All we have to do is log on to our control panel here. This is our NAS station here. And once then we use the main menu to log on to the surveillance station. As well, you have to make sure that your the internet's working and the NAS station and the bird box camera are all connected to the same internet. So then we can have a live view of our camera first. So we take a look at the camera and see what's and you can see that the camera has the image of the bird box. Then right here we go back to our main menu over here. Top bottom right here we have live broadcast. And then it gives us the option. It already has the RTMP path here for us. So because it's already transcoded. Very convenient. And down here is the key. So the key we still have to go to YouTube and retrieve our YouTube stream key. And after that we just simply paste it right here. After we paste it right here, we save it, and then the live broadcast will be pushed to YouTube. And then everything's going to be done. So a few more quick reminders that I really recommend to use a PoE bird box camera because wired bird box cameras are more stable. They won't have any interferences when it comes to transmitting the signal. And also when you're using PC Plus software, OBS is a free software, but it also has some disadvantages. A more professional software is the X Broadcasting one. That one is, you have to kind of pay for it, but it is also very professional. 
All right, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions or comments, please post them at the section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.